Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Austin with a man in his gear, and I'm excited about this video. This is actually a follow-up video to a past, well, article that I wrote. I didn't have a chance to do a video about it. And so that is actually the new BioLite headlamps. So I've been a big fan of BioLite for a long time. They had sent me out a headlamp a while back. I think it was the old version of this. And that actually brings me to these products. These are replacing their full lineup of headlamps. So we now have the BioLite Headlamp 425, 325, and the 800 Pro. So these headlamps each are kind of an array of quality and just capabilities. Obviously, the higher the number, the nicer it is and the better like illumination it has. So in this video, I'm gonna go through each one. We're gonna be talking about each headlamp and I'm gonna do some unboxing. We're gonna test them out and I'm gonna let you know which one I like and, and well, if I like all of them. Uh, and I'm also going to let you know which one I think is the best value and then also which one works best for you so you aren't spending your hard-earned money on the wrong one that you wish you might have gone upwards or you might have spent too much money. We're gonna go into each of those things and see where it goes. So without more to do, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the unboxing and features of this product. All right, so now we are to the unboxing of the 325, 425, and 800 Pro from BioLite. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at what they look like, my first impressions, and of course the complete unboxing of each of these. Uh, so you kind of get a good idea of maybe what quality and what power you want. So before we get into that unboxing, let's go ahead and flip these over so that we can take a look at the difference in what each one has, what a different power is and output for light. So let's go ahead and flip these over and take a look at the features. All right, we have this flipped over. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's start with the cheapest, which is the 325 here. Let's bring it right up. So this one has quite a few different features. This it has a white spot, it has a white stroke, red flood, red strobe, lockout, lens tilt, dimming. Uh, so it has a lot of different features. So basically what these are is the two different styles of the lighting. So basically it's a spotlight uh, and then it has a strobe, which kind of gets people's attention. And then of course a red strobe and red flood. What this does is it gives you, kind of doesn't affect your night sight. Uh, so when you turn off the light, you can still see at night. It's kind of what the police use uh, to be able to, like when you drive by a police car, uh, you see red light in their cabin. That is why, because it just, it allows them to be able to turn off their lights and drive right away rather and having to let their their eyes basically adjust and so that is why you see red strobe uh, and red floodlight on this product it does have an ipx4 rating which means it's kind of water resistant not super water resistant it weighs 50 grams and it has a 700 milliamp rechargeable battery. It is rated for up to 70 meters for the beam distance, three hours for burn time, which is basically how long it can run. And then its brightness is 325 lumens and five lumens when it's on the low. So that is, as you can see, 325, 325. If you're ever wondering why they were named that way, it is based off their lumens. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Some major differences with the 425 that we have here is it basically steps up in lumens and steps up in features. So while the other one only had a white spot and a white strobe, this one actually adds some more. It has a flood light, it has a spot and flood, which is basically both in one. Of course, it does the same thing with the red light as well. So you have just extra features basically there. So this one actually has a four point tilt. The other one did have a tilt functionality as well. Basically what that does is allows you to be able to tilt the light up and down, which is great. Uh, because because if you want to look at the ground, you can. If you want to look out into the distance, you can without having to basically uh, tilt your head or move your head around to be able to do it because, you know, it's not always comfortable. So as you can see here, it has 425 lumens. It actually has up to four hours of battery life, whereas the 325 over here only had three hours. It goes up to 85 meters of beam distance, whereas that one only went up to 70. And it just, uh, it just it just essentially has more power. It has the same water resistance. Uh, it's a little bit heavier and it uses USB-C to charge, uh, whereas the other one does not, uh, which is nice. If, you know, quick charge, make sure that a lot of people have chargers. It also does physically look different from the 325. As you can see, the 325 already is not quite as high of quality. This one you can tell is already getting quite a bit nicer. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the nicest one. So this is the 800 Pro. This one stands out as basically their best one. You can already tell from the packaging uh, that this is just a much nicer product. It is 800, so obviously you know, as we found out on the other ones, this is an 800 Lumen BioLite headlamp. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. It does have water resistance. It has all the kind of the same features. It's just much, much more powerful and a much, much nicer product. As you can see, it goes up to 135 meters instead of I think it was 85 for the other one. Um, and just a much higher battery. You can take a look at all the features here. And it's essentially the same as the last one we looked at, but just much, much more powerful and much nicer. And it just has much better battery life as well. As you can see, this is a 3000 milliamp rechargeable battery. As you can see, the battery is actually in the back, so it allows it to have a much better battery life. So let's go ahead and unbox these and have them head to head. Just like last time, we're gonna go ahead and open up this one first and let's take a look. So of course you have packaging and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and move that to the side. You have your before first use. Uh, you wanna make sure you unlock and you register and all that kind of stuff. And this of course is a quick start guide, which is awesome. This is your charging cable. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, I will say first thing, this is actually very, very similar to the last version I had. Uh, and I think that this is actually replacing the one that I had before. And I will say if that is true, this is an extremely nice headlamp, even, even though it's their entry level version. Uh, this is that tilt feature. As you can see, it kind of tilts. So when you're wearing it, uh, you can tilt it so it's facing the ground or you have it like that so it's facing straight forward. Before we can actually use these, we do have to charge these up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna continue on with the unboxing before we're able to use this and we'll jump back in my final thoughts and take a look at the, after we've looked at the features and test them out, we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on each of these. All right, moving on to the Headlamp 425. Let's go ahead and unbox this one. It's very similar packaging to the other one. And let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so immediately you can tell there's a huge difference. So let's get into there. Here is your USB-C, whereas the other one was not USB-C. You can see right there. Here is the 425. So immediately you can already tell there's some differences. You can see right here, this is actually a rear facing strobe. So this one actually works in the front and back. So basically it allows people, so if you're like say walking on the road, you have a strobe in the back and you have the headlamp in the front. And so people basically, it's kind of like a bicycle light um, so that you can be seen from the front and rear no matter what and you don't have to like carry something else to let people see. Um, so this also has, I believe the battery in the back as well. So it shares the power to the front and how you're able to get a little bit better battery life is because of this part right here, uh, which is just really awesome to be able to have. Um, so I'm really impressed with this. It feels very similar to the other one, which is good because these are very, very comfortable from experience in my old version. Um, these are just the most incredibly comfortable headlamps I've ever, I've ever worn. They're just really, really high quality. The, the, the material here is very comfortable on your skin. Um, and you kind of forget you're wearing them, honestly. So this is the Headlamp 800. I am super stoked to be able to look at this one. This is the nicest headlamp I think I have ever had. I cut that sticker off camera. Let's go ahead and open this up. You can already tell the packaging on this thing is just so much nicer than the other ones. It's, a, it's an actual experience um, rather than just, you know, kind of standard packaging. And so, ah, I see, okay. So we're gonna open it up like this. And just like the other one, you have the rear headlamp um, and then you have the front headlamp. And wow, these are so much nicer than the other one even. Um, you can see just whoop, how bright that is. Um, you can see it's flashing because I need to charge these before we take a look at the actual beams. Um, you can see here, I think this is actually ribbing to basically dissipate heat, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can tell this thing's pretty high power. This is just a massive battery pack. So this sits at the back of your head and this sits at the front of your head and you have the power cord. So this is just an intense headlamp. Um, and yeah, it's just pretty crazy. Um, so I do the similar kind of build as the other ones where it is just Going to be really comfortable um, again like i said earlier these are just really really comfortable headlamps that i'm just super impressed with um, so anyways that is the unboxing actually really quick and uh, let's take a look there's a missing the cord here let's open that up 
All right, this is actually a much nicer cord. However, it is actually not 3.0. I was expecting a USB 3.0. Not the end of the world, but still kind of interesting that the uh, that the 425 had USB-C, whereas this one does not. So anyways, that's not a huge deal, not a big problem, because I mean, honestly, who needs to actually charge our headlamp so quickly? Um, but so with that said, we're gonna go ahead and test these out and jump to the next scene where I'm trying them out outside at night. Hey guys, this is Austin from the future. You're gonna be seeing me in this chair a little bit later on, but I did wanna ask you guys, since we're in the middle of this video, to subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out and make sure that other people see this video as well. Anyways, back to the video. All right guys, so it is the middle of the night now, 28 degrees out, but I wanted to make sure we got this testing done for you guys. Um, so we have the three different lights. We have the BioLite headlamp 325 425 and 800 uh, and in this part of the video I'm just going to kind of show you how they how they differ and uh, different light sequences and that kind of stuff so right now what you actually have is this is actually the 325 that I have the light on right now this is kind of its longest length right here so you have that you turn it off and that's it's flashing you can kind of see right here that says red light and just the different modes so that's back to going to the long length one so that is the 325 all right so now we have the 425 this is the long length one so this is how far it goes this is your kind of sos blinking light and then you have the red light here and back to the kind of the longest length so yeah anyway so that's kind of your length on that and let's jump over to the 800. all right so now the 800. So as you can see, this is a much more impressive light. Uh, this is how far it goes and how bright it is. Quite impressive. This is kind of the closer, and this is actually both the, the long length one as well as the shorter distance. We have the blinking, and of course, and of course we have the red light as well. So it should also be mentioned that the rear of each of these lights also has its own light as well. Of course you have this, this is the rear of the light, it is blinking. That's just so people behind you see you. And then this is the 425, the rear light. You can see it can either be blink or it could be steady. All right, so what I'm gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut to different ones. I wanna show you how long each one can go. Uh, and so let's do that. So I'm gonna cut to the 800 now. So that is the 800. That's how far it can go. This is the 425. That is how far it can go. And then this is the 325. So honestly, all three are pretty dang good. Uh, obviously the 800 is just incredible. 425 honestly is a little bit higher quality. You just have a few more modes. Um, I'd say it's very similar. I mean, obviously it has more lumens, but uh, as for actual like distance, you're not getting a ton more with the 425 like you are the 800. Uh, but the 325 is honestly a really good value for what it is. Of course, it also doesn't have the rear headlamp. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump back uh, into the studio and I'm gonna talk a little bit more and go over what I found. All right, guys, before we get into my final thoughts, I did really quick wanna show you what these all look like on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quick. So let's go ahead and cut to the 325. All right, guys, this is what the 325 looks like. It is really nice, it is comfortable. It does not have the battery pack on the back like the 425 and 800. However, it is very comfortable and looks great and is very usable. All right, so this is what the 400 looks like. As you can see, the added battery pack and light in the back is different than the 325. Uh, and is what it looks like on the front. So the front obviously is a little bit different design than the uh, 300 as well, or the 325 as well. And uh, just, yeah, looks a little bit different. Anyways, this is the 425. All right, and this is what the 800 Pro looks like on your head. This is the battery pack in the back with the light. Obviously there is a cord here, much like the other one, but this one's definitely larger. Um, and this one just kind of means serious business. So anyways, that is the 800 Pro and what it looks like. Really quick, before we get too far into this, I did want to mention one thing that I didn't talk about yet so far is just how many features these headlamps are is both a great thing and kind of a downside of this as well. As you could tell when I was kind of messing around with the lights in the video before this, um, it was a little bit difficult to go to the style of light that I wanted. And that just comes down to just this has so many different features and there's only one button to handle them. Um, whereas when you have a really simple, cheap, honestly, not very good headlamp, there's really only 
one thing it can do, which is on and off. Uh, these ones have quite a few different modes, um, and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get to. While those are amazing to have those features, and it's awesome to have, uh, it does also kind of make it difficult to get to that mode that you want uh, just by using a single button. So with that said, let's talk about how each of these compare and who each of these is for. All right, so first let's talk about the 325. So the 325, I think honestly, is probably the best headlamp for most people. Um, it works really, really well. Honestly, it's super bright already on its own. Obviously, it still has tilt functions and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, it just works really, really well. It's just as comfortable as the other one, so you're not losing out on comfort. And honestly, it's a great price as well. So um, this is probably what most people are going to need. The major downside is it doesn't have a light on the back like the other ones do. So that brings me to the 425. All right, so the 425 is where you start to kind of get into the serious headlamp. Uh, you have the battery pack as well as the light at the rear of it. So this is awesome for those people that actually do do a lot of maybe running at night on the side of the road where you want to make sure that cars see you uh, from the back and that kind of stuff. This is, this is a great headlamp for that as well as it has a little bit better battery life. Uh, and it's just a great all around headlamp. Um, I'll be honest, if you do want to have a light at the back, this is probably the one you should get. Um, it really is great. It works well. It's super comfortable, just like the 325 and the 800. They all feel honestly very, very comfortable and work really, really well. Um, so anyways, if you are somebody that wants to have the light at the back, this is the one you need. The 800. So this thing is kind of ridiculous. You can see right here, this battery pack is huge. Um, this is for those people that really, really need strong light. I, I, I suspect that they probably don't sell a ton of these because uh, the people that need this much light, 800 lumens, this big of a battery pack and all that kind of stuff, and is willing to deal with a little bit bigger, bulkier packaging, there probably aren't that many of them. Uh, so this is honestly, I am super impressed with this product. Like it's really, really, really nice. And if you are willing to have the budget and, you, and you're willing to put up with a little bit more heft, this thing is fantastic. It is extremely bright and really, really awesome. Uh, I just suspect there's probably not a ton of people out there like that. They're more likely probably to go to 325 or 425 just because of the price discount, it's smaller packaging, a little bit easier to use and uh, take with you. Anyway, so those are my final thoughts on each of the BioLite headlamps. We have the 325, 425, and the 800 Pro. I really hope that you were able to get a little bit of insight into each of these and maybe which one's right for you. So I do ask that you go ahead and subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out and it makes it so that other people see it on this platform. Uh, and I really enjoyed reviewing these. It's been a lot of fun. I really do like BioLite. They make some fantastic fantastic products. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that there's some links down in the description to each of the products, as well as a link down in the description to the review. If there is already an article, if not, I'll make sure to update the, the description as soon as that article is done uh, so that you have a written version of it. That is also where I like to do updated reviews. So if maybe a couple months down the road, I have different thoughts about these, I'll make sure to update that article. So if you, you're a couple months out for when this video came out, that's a great place to check out. You'll also find a lot of other reviews and stuff on there. So that's at maninsgear.com. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon.